JavaScript is an easy to use programming language. It can enhance your pages with interactive features, customize graphics, and add special effects. This script is very simple. JavaScript is the scripting language of the web. It is used by Google and Facebook. It is the programming language of the web for servers, PCs, laptops, tablets, mobile phones. JavaScript is a lightweight programming language which is designed to add interactivity to HTML pages. The JavaScript language is a very simple syntax. Anyone can put small snippets to JavaScript code into HTML pages. Now let's go to our code in action of what we're going to learn today. This is this is Happy Jack and when you click it turns into Scary Jack and you can click back and forth between these images. This is what we're going to learn today. So first let's talk about the syntax we're going to use. We're going to use language like mouse down when the mouse button is pressed, mouse up when the mouse button is released, the word function is the action or process that is being triggered, VAR stands for variable, IMG stands for image, SRC stands for source, and we will also be using something called an if-else statement, which is a type of function structure. In normal language, it sounds something like, if something happens, do this, else, do that. Begin with basic HTML page divided into two parts, the head and the body, and this should look familiar. Then, you will need to add a line in the body section called script and indicate that you will be entering programming in JavaScript. In our case here, it says script type equals text slash JavaScript. This is where your JavaScript code will go. Let's define our first and only variable. Var is click equals false. When your mouse button is released, this variable is false. Function change x is the name of our first and only function. The value of x will ultimately change the image that is displayed at that time. Our function will be an if-else function. Remember, this is a type of function that reads, if something happens, do this, else, do that. I think I will also talk to you about what's on our next slide, if that's okay with everybody. So here is our function change x, both in normal speaking language and in JavaScript. So, in the red side there, we're saying if someone clicked, the image source should be scary jack. Since someone clicked, the value for our variable is true. The statement is clicked equals true, as you can see on the right in the blue, simply means that the lines preceding it define what it means to be true. Someone clicked. Now, that was the first half of our function. Now for the other half. Else means no one is currently clicking, so make the image source happy jack. Since no one is clicking, this value is false. Now you can pause and sort of compare how these things make sense both in normal language and in JavaScript. Here is the body section of our code so far. Now we need to add an image text to the body section. Now we need to define certain aspects of the image tag. This tag will be in the body portion of the HTML. We need to define, one, the source, in this case, the links to our images, two, the size in pixels, in our case, we chose to do 500 by 500. And three, when our function should affect the image. In our case, when mouse down is on. This is another way of saying when the mouse button is clicked. Here is 
our complete code. Go to the code in action. Here Let's see. Is Here's our, our code, code in working. action. <laughs> Happy Halloween.